Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. Today we're going to be showing you the brand new ASUS X202E. This is part of the new Vivo Book series. It is available in both an 11 inch and a 14 inch version. Today we're showing you the 11 inch version which has an 11.6 inch touchscreen interface and also features the brand new Windows 8 operating system. So let's go ahead and get things started with a simple unboxing. Here you have the economical packaging that ASUS uses. It's just a standard cardboard box. Inside you're going to find the laptop at the top and this is covered in a protective sleeve so it doesn't get damaged or scratched during shipping. Removing the laptop you can see that it's fairly small compared to the hands and that it sports a black and gray finish which makes it look pretty sleek and pretty professional at the same time. Found just below the laptop you're going to find all of your booklets. You have your warranty information. You have, this is a cleaning cloth that's included. You can keep the keyboard and the screen and the rest of the laptop clean with that. And below it is your user manual. These are pretty standard in pretty much any laptop these days. So you could know to expect these. Taking off that first top cover and opening up one of the side pouches. Here you're gonna find, this is the power cable. As you can see, it's all in one, it plugs into the wall and then plugs directly into the laptop. It's not a two part unit like you find on some larger laptops. Okay, now it's time to take the laptop for a spin just to showcase the way it looks as far as the size the features. You can see that it is very thin and then it does look very professional. When you open up the laptop, you're gonna see that it has a thin lid and then it does have a glossy screen and that it's sporting a standard chiclet style keyboard. Moving to the perimeter of the laptop now to show you your ports. This is the left side of the laptop. You have your DC power in, ethernet port, HDMI, USB 3.0, USB 2.0, and your Kennington lock port. In the front, it's flush. You don't have any ports, but you do have your status LEDs. To the right side, you have your multi-card reader, a combo jack for headphones or a microphone, another USB 2.0 port, and your VGA output. And time for one more quick spin with the LCD lid open now. You can see the lid is coated and it has a nice black finish to it with the ASUS logo in the center, which is glossy, so it is reflecting the light. And you get pretty much the full angle there. And now here's the system booted into Windows 8. So the main features that this laptop really tried to showcase is the fact that it is running the brand new Windows 8 operating system and that it is sporting a touch sensitive LCD screen. So you can interact with your Windows 8 environment by touching the screen and not only by using a keyboard and mouse for the touchpad. You can see here that the chiclet keyboard is pretty well made. These are very standard now, especially on smaller model laptops. You have all of your media functions available to you at the top. Keep in mind this keyboard is not backlit. However, based on the pricing of this laptop, that seems to be pretty fair. In the center, you have a very large touchpad. And on the right side, you have your status LEDs on the top. The left and right clicks are actually going to be hidden within the touchpad itself, so you just press in the appropriate corner of the touchpad to use those functions. And you can see as a 12 inch model laptop that is very small compared to the hand, therefore very portable. And here's a non-product placed soda can, just so you can see the size comparison. And now here's a couple of minutes of using the X202E with Windows 8 using only the touch screen. This is an out of box Windows 8 experience. So I'm sure over time people will find a way to customize Windows 8 to make it more proper for using only with the touch screen. Most of the main UI is pretty large, easy to see and easy to touch. But when you get into some of the smaller Windows features such as trying to right click and then click on a feature that you need, that's when the smaller screen and your bigger fingers become a little bit more difficult. But again, Windows 8 is brand new. This is the start of everything. So over time, I'm sure people will get adjusted to this and your own skill with using the touch screen will improve.
Users that might find using Windows 8 with the touchscreen interface a uh, good thing would be people who are either gadgeteers and just like to always be uh, having hands on with the latest and greatest, or perhaps even somebody with a physical problem like carpal tunnel syndrome, if you have a bad case of that where typing causes pain and discomfort for you, being able to interact with your operating system by touching the screen would be able to alleviate that pain and prevent you from causing any further harm to yourself by being able to interact with it by just touching the screen. Now let's move on to performance benchmarking, a little bit more standard for our reviews. Here you can see the Windows WEI index is 4.4, which is always from the lowest score. And in this case, it's gonna be from the graphics score. This is using an Intel HD 4000 integrated GPU, which is actually very high performance and low on power consumption. So it's great for a small laptop like this. Obviously you wouldn't purchase this in hopes of playing a lot of high-end video games. This is your day-to-day -day computing machine for taking care of email, photos, music, web browsing and things like that. It does come equipped with everything you would need like Bluetooth and a strong Intel CPU. It is using the Ivy Bridge architecture. So it is using the newest chipset. The screen size, again, being 11.6 inches, the resolution is 1366 by 768. And that of course is considered to be full HD. So if you are watching an HD movie on here, you are gonna get a good quality out of that. Now let's go ahead and flip the unit over and take a look at the bottom. You can see that there's not a whole lot of ventilation slots on the bottom of this unit, and that is because it's designed to run so cool. Nothing in this unit uses a whole lot of power, therefore not a whole lot of heat is produced. The matte black finish is actually rubberized. So when you touch this with your hands, you're going to feel that little grippy rubberized finish. It's soft on the hands. It also makes it easy to grab it in and out of your bag without dropping it. If you take the bottom off, you can't do a user disassembly of the unit. You'll find that you have the speakers on the bottom here, left and right sides. You can use or upgrade some of the components on the laptop, but not very many. You have your Wi-Fi card here that you can change out yourself if you'd like to. And up above it here is your hard drive, which can also be user removed and replaced in case you want to put a larger capacity drive or an SSD in there. Other than that, you just have your things like your CPU, GPU, chipset, all that are over here. And you've got the single fan and cooling heatsink covering all of that for you. And now the last thing we're going to show you today for the X202E is the weight of the unit. Many people when choosing an ultra portable laptop take the weight into strong consideration based on the fact they'll be carrying it around all day. Right now the laptop and the battery are on the scale so this is the full weight of the working unit. And now if you also choose to pack your charger along with it, this is the extra weight you can expect to have. So the full kit is actually still very light. You shouldn't have any problems carrying this around with you all day. And that, everybody, will conclude the showcase for the X202E. We hope that you enjoyed the video, found it educational and entertaining at the same time. If you'd like to find out more information on this model, all you have to do is go to our website, gentechpc.com. We have the full system specifications, current pricing and availability. If you have any other questions you need to ask us, feel free to contact us by phone, email, or by the forums. We'll be more than happy to help you anytime. So this is, once again, Gentech PC, and we'll see you next time.